Hey everybody, Chris Farad here, and when you think of a puzzle adventure game, you're probably not thinking, ooh, that's cool, that's sexy, but when you attach it to the Peaky Blinders franchise, all of a sudden becomes a little bit more interesting. Uh, this is a game called Peaky Blinders Mastermind. It is based on the TV show. Now, if you haven't seen the TV show, not to worry. This is set uh, prior to the first season. Uh, this takes place, I believe, right after World War I. So uh, in terms of setting and tone, there are some kind of mature themes that are in there. But essentially, the way that the game works is uh, you're, you're working on sort of a timeline system to solve these uh, puzzles. Think of a game I played called uh, Desperados recently, where you're uh, moving things backwards and forwards as things don't work out. It's like that, but without combat, mostly puzzle focus. It's probably easier to explain once I just get in there. Now, I did the first couple of chapters, and uh, we're going to go in just to chapter three. And you can see that there's some target times we need to hit. So the, the total goal here is obviously to work your way through the story, but you want to perfect these levels and figure out how to do things really quickly. Um, let's start this one. Okay, so here we go. Uh, there is some dialogue that bookends the chapters, but I skipped it because it won't make sense having not seen the first couple of chapters. But just know that there is a consistent... Uh, narrative that's happening throughout the game. Now, uh, at this screen, you might look at this and be like, okay, there's a lot going on here, but let me just explain to you what's happening. Uh, in this one, we're controlling two characters, it looks like. Tommy, the older guy, and Finn, the younger guy. Each of them have specific attributes. So Tommy can convince people to do certain things, and then we can take control of those characters he's convincing. Finn can get into small spots that uh, Tommy cannot. And in the previous one, in the previous chapter, we we're playing as a woman who could distract uh, guards that might catch us. Uh, the timeline at the bottom can be forwarded and rewound by right trigger or L trigger. And it keeps track of all the things that you're doing. Opening doors, uh, holding levers, that kind of thing. And the idea is to navigate these guys through to achieve the objective. So here we need to get through a locked gate. Um, so let's unpause and let's go from here. Looks like we can we can pet the dogs. We can pet the dogs. I don't know if there's any gameplay uh, reasons for that yet, but it's good. It's already got a pass in my books. All right, so there's a key up there. This gate is locked. And uh, you can see the little brain over this guy. So we're going to take control of him. We have 20 seconds. Sometimes it's longer, sometimes it's shorter. Let's grab this. And we'll get that key passed over. Now, he should just stop wherever I leave him. I might be able to do this without the timer even running out. So you can pass objects between uh, people. So something to keep in mind if you're ever getting stuck somewhere. Let's bring uh, Finn up here. We're on a timer, so I'm going to try and do this in a way that makes a lot of sense without getting super confused. Now we have two minutes to find a way to open the one-way door. What do we have? Uh, we have a door. Let's pause it for a second. Okay, so we need to figure out how to open this door. Now, let's just observe a couple of things we got going on here. So these one-way doors, they're marked with the upwards arrow showing the side of the, the side that the door opens from. We have one there. We have one here. We have a mind control possibility here. And well, I guess it's not mind control. Let's be honest. It's, it's a coercion, but still. He's going to do what we want. So we're going to have to try and get these guys both. There's a key here. Okay. I think I see what we're going to need to do. So Finn, we're going to have him crawl through. He's going to get this key and he's going to be set up. We're going to try and coerce this guy to come over. Maybe uh, hold open a lever or something. And then we'll have, uh, we'll have Tommy go through that way. Let's see. So if I open this, we want to hold it down for an amount of time that we think would be appropriate to pass through, depending on what we do. And then we can jump back to it with LBRB, or we can just rewind to it as well. You can also rewind and then take control of another character, and that action on the timeline will still happen. So we could go in there if we wanted. Uh, but I'm going to rewind a bit, just because we are on a timer. You can go do whatever. I'm going to see what's possible with this guy. See how long we have control. Okay, so now we've got this ally. 
And what I'm thinking is we get him in there and then he can open up that other one because this one will close where we're standing. This one will close and then he'll be uh, stuck in there. We don't want one of our guys to be stuck in there. So let's back this up a bit. And with some planning, let's actually go back even further right to here. Okay. I'm going to bring him over straight up. There's this added pressure of being on the clock right now. Okay. So we're going to hold this open for a little bit of time here. Then we'll rewind. We'll go over to Tommy and we'll control this one. Now our ally... Okay, so we got to do that a little quicker. So while we're with Tommy, let's control him now. He's got this open. Now let's pause here. So while this is happening, I'm going to back this up. Not that far. Holy moly. My bad. I think if you double tap, you go all the way to the beginning. Okay. So, our ally, we're going to get him moving. Actually, he's already going to be moving. So then, what we'll do is we'll have Tommy get into position over here. And then, we'll rewind this. Go back to Tommy. This should open. And we are through. Okay. Okay. Times are hard. Maybe the races will bring us a little good fortune. Yeah, maybe. Now, we've got this locked. Of course. So we see the key. We know he can fit through small gaps. Now, in previous chapters, he was kind of working autonomously. We weren't actually controlling him. So now we have full control. Let's take this. We got to watch this guard. Um, oh, okay. Spotted. No big deal. We just rewind. No big deal. Okay, he still turned. Oh, okay. My bad. Now, the problem is... Hold on a sec. So, when he's up here... We need to hold this open long enough so that uh, Finn can get out. We don't want to just walk through it. So let's rewind that a bit. And as he's going, we'll start this path. There we go. Cruising. Reckon I can fit through that window, Tommy? Yeah, that'd be great. Sneak through the workshops. Okay. We got people cruising here. I'm just going to stay on his trail. That's probably the safest way. Now, that thing we just picked up is a little collectible. And one of the other challenges is to try and find all of those in every level. Now we can open this. Okay. And we're both through. Finn said you got something for me. Uh, there you are. Yes, just want to say I appreciate you boys being back in Small Heath, sorting things out. Fair can, but we're in a bit of a hurry today, so I'll be... All right, I, I won't keep you, Mr. Shelby. It's just I've seen the Chinese gathering something big they are. That's where we're going now, trying to at least take this key. It'll get you through my brother's warehouse. That's the quickest way over, I reckon. Okay, we got a key. Let's roll. Enter the brother's warehouse. Okay, let's open this up. It's the yellow circle, so I'm bringing in the little guy. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. So we're going to have to figure out their vision cones. Might as well grab that little collectible there. He's going to spot me. Okay, that was close. 
there is a level of like tenseness i find maybe it's more so for me because i'm also trying to talk over it uh and explain relatively what i'm doing or tr at least trying to do uh oh Yeah, I'd say this is going pretty well. The only problem is, I don't know if we're supposed to be moving the other guy. Yeah, there's no way past him, right? Not there. So we need to somehow get into that area. Oh, look at that. Okay. We came all the way around to here. So let's just pause for a second. So the goal is for us to get there. Hmm. Interesting. So I think if we back this up and we hold this door open... Let's do something like... So we only have 30 seconds... switch back here. Ah, uh, here. Now we can control this guy. Is there a way he can block this guy? Oh, yes. Got it. Okay. This is actually getting kind of intense here. Three of four. I do wish there was a way where you could do kind of simultaneous actions. Or just have somebody follow for a, a situation like this. Because okay, so we need his help with this door. You can take control here. He can open this. Let's just rewind that. Woo! Okay, that was pretty close, actually. That worked out well. Okay, go Finn, go. What's going on? Well, they got Scout's cap and it looks like they're planning a retaliation. We need to get back and warn the others. Come on. Let's go. Let's bring him up too. The first couple levels were quite uh, basic. This one has added some complexities for sure. Okay, we can control this guy. Uh, what do we want him to do, actually? Can I distract this guy? Yeah, we can block. Oh! I'm trying to see where... I don't know if I can block the whole thing. Oh, whoops. Yeah, so if you hold it, I think you go all the way back to the beginning. Let's just get the full uh, coercion timer here. I'm actually going to go back even further. There we go. Give us a little bit more time to maneuver this. Now, I'm thinking I might have to do something weird here. Hmm. How are we going to solve this? Because there's that little bit of vision, it looks like, regardless of which option we, cho we choose. If we're going to put it more on the left side or the right side. 
But actually, with that little um, hidey hole there, maybe. Hmm. I was thinking maybe I could get him through these doors. But I'm not going to be able to do that. I wonder if I can coerce him twice. So let's see this. Oh, we need the key for that door. So no, that's not going to be the play. So the play is going to have to be that we drag this over. And then as that's happening, we're going to have to control the other person. In order to, uh, to cross it at the right time. Just like so. Now, as he's walking over there to do that, let's take Finn. Woo! That's cool. That's really cool, actually. This is a one-way door, so we're going to keep this open a tad. Okay. What's next? So we have a lever. This is going to keep that other door open. We're going to need both fellas here, for sure. We have some guards. Now, who is it that we should have out here? Let's pause this and take a little look, see? It's just a random door. So someone's going to have to come over. I guess it doesn't matter who it's going to be. But someone's going to have to then hold this door open for the other person to leave. Let's just rewind here to get some of our time back. The other guy's going to come down the stairs here. Woo. Let's hold this open for a sec. Okay, both are out. Nailed it. How fast were we? Okay, you know, not bad. Not bad for my first try, I'll say. Not bad. I'll show you my previous times if you're interested. This one, we hit silver. Uh, first one, we almost got gold the first try. And I was like, this is going to be pretty straightforward. But then, of course, they start to layer it on a little thicker as we go. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know how many puzzles there are. I don't think it's a huge game. If it's, if there's only 10 levels, then it's going to be a relatively short experience. But, uh, if you're into Peaky Blinders, I mean, this is going to be right up your alley, obviously. Uh, it is fun from like a puzzle solving perspective as well. There's I, not strictly combat, but I, I did see some type of GIF showing that, uh, there was some fighting happening. Maybe it's a form of distraction or something like that. This is probably a much quicker level, you can see just by the target times. The target time here on Bronze is 15 minutes. So there's going to be some levels that are shorter uh, in nature than others. But yeah, anyways, I just wanted to show this to you guys. Thanks so much for checking this out. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to be a broad appeal to a ton of people, but for people that are into puzzles, into Peaky Blinders, into this whole timeline thing, which has seen a huge surge of popularity over this past year, um, then yeah, check this out. I'll have links down below and, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. It's on all the systems, so, uh, pick it up wherever you play your games. Thank you guys. Bye for now.